If you've ever dreamt of leaving the 21st century behind, stepping back into another world in time, then you will catch sight of tribal societies and places isolated and untouched by other surfers or modern tourism. If you leave your comfort zone, you will see incredible scenery, tropical rainforests, colorful living reefs, and one of the last surfing frontiers. A true melting pot between Melanesia, Polynesia, and Micronesia with a rich and unique cultural identity. Welcome to the Solomon Islands. Experience another world, uncover a true Pacific treasure. In this episode, the Australian treasure hunters Billy Watson, Peter Hayes, Jamie Mitchell, Marty Paradisus, and Chris Salisbury are on the hidden island of Papatura. They're getting ready for a wave discovery, everybody with a different approach. Everyone's come from their own, I guess, background of surfing. Like you got your big wave charges and then just your free surfers and then I'm doing the contest kind of gig and it's um everyone's they've all got their different approaches to the wave and just their whole aspect on life I guess and yeah it's been sick just hanging with everyone and getting to know these new people that I've never really even met in surfing before. So the search is on. For all kinds of surfers, Solomon has a large variety of breaks to offer. In a range of six to eight foot waves, there is the right surf for everyone. And it's always surreal pioneering a wave, paddling out knowing you might be the first. Nick Blanche explored the whole area and already knows what the mature surfer seeks. We found some fun waves. There's some really good quality reef bakes around here. Still groups now are finding names, naming them. They get naming rights. That doesn't happen too often. There's so many different setups. Yeah, we could surf the left in the morning, right before lunch, uh, left after lunch. If we weren't so buggered after each surf, we could surf four or five times a day, really. Even the stand-up paddle surfers Billy and Jamie had a blast in these conditions. Whatever boards these watermen have under their feet, these virgin surf breaks unite them all with surf adventures. Solomon's is pretty isolated. I mean, we're pretty much in the middle of the South Pacific. It's, you know, it's crazy to think that, you know, like I, I think we're out there today and there was two of us in the water and, you know, it's like, so it's pretty cool to, to think that you're, you know, the only guy surfing for thousands of miles around. The Solomon Islands are still a special part of the world, and it always will be because each village can just sustain so many people. Thus, everything about this place is an adventure. Just to come here and just see so much live coral and everything seems so alive, I guess. To come out to somewhere like this that's so remote and be able to have the adventure of going to places where no one's really been before and discovered. It's kind of like Robin Crusoe out here. It's, uh, it's just really beautiful. You couldn't be any further from, you know, like reality. It's, um, it sort of blows my mind when I feel very lucky to have been able to come and check it out. The Solomon Islands is a unique experience and offers a depth and cultural insight of the simplicity of life. 
it will always stay what it always was, a Pacific treasure, paradise. Paradise.